Well, I'm joined now from Tel Aviv by Mark Regev, senior advisor to the Israeli Prime Minister, Benjamin Netanyahu, and a former Israeli ambassador to the UK. Um, good evening to you. Was it you? Apparently not. Uh, we're the whole time gathering more information. And now the highest probability appears to be that this was uh, an Islamic Jihad rocket. Uh, and as crazy as that sounds, Islamic Jihad rocket. And as crazy as that sounds, as crazy as that sounds. Shalom, everyone. If you're new to my station, I am the Hebrew Rose Jericho coming at you with some judgment news. Our praise is to the Almighty, sublime, most magical one, our Father. Hallelujah. And to our most beautiful mother, Marihala. Much love, honor, respect, mother. We adore you and we ask you for wisdom in this judgment news. May the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart always be acceptable in thy sight, O Yahweh and Marihala, my strength and my redeemers. I hope you guys see where the Most High God of Israel is answering us judges immediately. Yes, as soon as we say something with our magical words that's connected to the 5D, it's like the host goes into motion. Yeah, one way or the other, okay? And, and, and turning this world upside down. Uh, the statistics are clear. In past rounds of fighting, some 33% of Islamic Jihad rockets that were fired into Israel uh, fell short and landed in Gaza. Now, our intelligence is reporting to us that there was Islamic Jihad uh, uh, fire which was over the vicinity of the hospital, and apparently a rocket malfunctioned and hit the hospital. We had such documented case. Okay, this war is not just about Hamas. It's not just about the Gaza Strip. This is about the planet, the whole world. You know, I listened carefully because Mother told me to listen to Netanyahu's speech when he declared war um, on Hamas. Now, he didn't just declare war on Hamas. He declared war on all of their enemies. Now, Mother told me in the very beginning that all that anti-Semitic stuff was about us, right? They actually preface this war with anti-Semitism. They went to the U.S. government. They went to the European Union. They went to the U.N. to set in motion the anti-Semitism agenda. And they've already uh, got some uh, allies like the United States government to back them up. So now that most the Most High has destroyed his magic by <laughs> destroying the illusion, taking all of the energy from our blessings away from him, they're in trouble. We're on the court of public opinion in this video, and then we'll go to the courts of the Most High at the end. People, uh, on, on October 7th, the world has been outraged by the beheadings, by the ISIS-type violence, uh, by the the lining up of people and shooting them in pits, the murdering of babies, the kidnapping of some 200 people and abducting them back to... D D D that is the true story here, not Hamas's propaganda. And on the court of public opinion, worldwide, globally, I don't believe it and the majority of people don't believe it. These people are so wicked. And this is what they've been doing over and over again. So, Mohammed uh, Abbas, uh, the Palestinian leader, has already pulled out of that four-way meeting uh, in Amman, in Jordan. Uh, we'll see what happens with the Egyptian president, uh, even uh, King Abdullah of Jordan. We'll see what happens with that. You know, this idea of consensus over meeting mm -hmm. Joe Biden is already falling apart. Um, you know, the moral equivalence of what happened in that terrible, terrible day. This is Netanyahu's advisor. He probably advised him to do all of the, the all of the evil debauchery that he has done on the Gaza Strip. And so all of them are desperate for everybody to believe their story. But Hashitan's magical lies, he's lost his power, is so weak. 
Now, I just seen where the United States is sending over 2,000 troops. The American people are sending their children to a war again that they don't have any idea what this war is about. This war is about the 12 tribes of Hashatan taking global domination. You know, that's why they prefaced um, this whole war with anti-Semitism. Anybody that go against them, they consider their enemies, and he threatened. Okay, we'll get to it. Will you be able to give your truth that you say this was not an airstrike by Israel? I hope as soon as possible. But I urge you, why are you believing Hamas propaganda? At least be skeptical. Why are you believing Hamas propaganda? At least be skeptical. At least be skeptical. And this is what he's urging the world. To think, be at least be skeptical. Yeah, we have image after image after image of these monsters and what they're doing to the people. Yeah, they went too far this time. They're in big trouble where they walked around with impunity. I said that on the last um, video. I said that these old farts are sitting in these power seats Netanyahu especially, and that's who I was talking about when I said they have walked around with impunity so far with the whole world's energy telling them to stop what they're doing, telling them that this is vicious, it's wicked, it's evil, we don't believe a word you say, and he just went further with it because he's been walking around with impunity. They hardly ever have to answer for any of their atrocities. It's only 1.5% of them in U.S. prisons. That, that tells you something. They have the laws designed to protect them. Yeah, give them immunity and give them impunity. But it's not working now because the world is against them. And listen to him. He wants to force people to believe him. He's pissed off. But I urge you, why are you believing Hamas propaganda? At least be skeptical. He says, I urge you, why are you believing Hamas's propaganda? At least be skeptical of it. But he doesn't know that these images that are going out over the internet of their atrocities is all the proof that is needed to find their guilt. Now, this is what he's calling propaganda. This is after the hospital bombing. So this poor nurse that I'm sure she was exhausted from treating her patients. And she just found her husband who is um, who had been martyred. So she just lost her husband. And she's saying that I treat people. And, and you know, I treat the wounded. But my husband was martyred. And she's going to her daughter. Now, this looks real to me. This looks very real. And he wants us to be skeptical of this. When we've seen the bomb, we've seen the bomb damage, we've seen whole neighborhoods flattened by them. But he wants us to believe him. Why are you believing Hamas propaganda? At least be skeptical. No, I will not be skeptical of these images coming across my screen of you all doing all of your debauchery on in Gaza and you think that you're going to do it throughout the whole world but you're not you will fail you will fail miserably you will be indicted for war crimes abracadabra look at this baby you see this baby this is what they did to this baby and um the, the other day, it was a count of over 700 babies that they cruelly uh, bombed as they trapped all of them in Gaza Strip. So many babies, they lost their lives. I think it's a thousand now with what happened at the hospital. Many children died at the hospital that they bombed. And this is the image that I am seeing, that I am believing. They keep putting that... Um, 
the invasion on the forefront because see that was their alibi that they created with that false flag and it's not flying that flag is not flying honey it's not flying president uh, even uh, king abdullah of jordan we'll see what happens with that you know this idea of consensus over meeting joe biden is already falling apart um you know the moral equivalence of what happened in that terrible terrible day on october the 7th does that allow one war crime to follow another i disagree and he has just now admitted guilt to war crimes he just think he's excused Part. Um, you know, the moral equivalence of what happened in that terrible, terrible day on October the 7th. Does that allow one war crime to follow another? This is how they keep the propaganda on the forefront. Yeah, because now everybody's focus is on the hospital, them bombing safe zones. They even told people to leave the Gaza Strip to go to safe places. And when the people got there, they started even bombing the safe places. They bombed so many apartments. That's what the focus is on of the earth, is their atrocities. And so they keep trying to push this on us, push this to reinforce their defense for what they're doing right now. Yeah. So we're going to look at their propaganda okay a sample of their propaganda because they keep on bringing up this invasion so many people about so many things and i try to do the matchmaking and everyone to all this send me a video and everyone to all this send me a, a hard message but they got this message <laughs> it just absolutely broke me <laughs> I'm going to translate it to English. Someone sent me. I got to tell you, a good friend of mine, her son was missing at the rave at the party. Today, she got a video from the terrorist murdering her kid and his girlfriend. He took the video in, his, in her son's phone and sent it to her through her son's no tears no signs of crying very bad acting now this is what i'm skeptical of i don't believe a word that's coming out of her mouth yeah she sucks at acting and this is how they're keeping that invasion on the forefront but we're going to take another look at that invasion you know at that rave that she's talking about where they supposedly shot 260 people or something like that we're going to take another look at that because it's very, very suspicious. And by the way, I didn't see anybody getting shot. I just seen a whole bunch of military age people that were in very good shape because they were running in the sand. Everybody kept pace. I didn't see anybody get shot. None of that. Yeah. And they, I heard that they had some pictures of the bodies, but I'm sure they were all covered up. You know, something easy to stage. Okay, and then they claimed that they got a lot of hostages from this concert. I believe Nate and Yahoo have the hostages. I do. I think it's all an act. I think they're down in the underground bunker doing just what they're doing now, raving and having a good time, waiting everything out. Because he said that he will not negotiate. It's no negotiation. And when people have hostages, you know, it's some American hostages over there. And you would think the parents would be demanding him to do some kind of negotiation to save the lives of the hostages. Yeah. And also, if a Hamas was the terrorist that they said that they would with all of the things that he's pulling off in Gaza. Don't you think they would have publicized an execution or something to try to stop him? It makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. And in the court of public opinion, my opinion is that she's lying. He's lying. Nathan Yahoo's lying. His uh, 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 ambassador's lying. His, uh, that guy there, well, his advisor's lying. All of them are lying. Yeah. And they're going to all be in trouble because they're going to have to come to account because the world is demanding it. 
I had a quick vision. I'm going to put it like that, a quick vision. I seen Netanyahu, his ambassador, his advisor, and his minister of defense, and a couple other people around the table after this hospital bombing. The whole world's energy was already angry with them for bombing the safe places, for bombing the Gaza Strip, trapping the people in and mercilessly bombing them and attacking them. And then when they went so far as to bomb this hospital, they knew their asses was in a sling. And we prayed and asked that the next energy that they use, all the energy from that point on, will go against them and make their allies disgusted with them. Well, it takes a lot for Joe Biden to be disgusted, evidently. But you can see where the other pro uh, presidents, they didn't even want to meet with Netanyahu. Yeah, this is looking real bad for them. So we're going to look at this debate because I want you to see what they're going to be coming against. Well, Mohammed Hijab joins me now. Mohammed, thank you very much for coming in. Uh, I hadn't actually watched your videos. I have now. I've watched a few of them. I'm aware you've got a massive following. You've got nearly a million YouTube subscribers. You're an influential person and you have a lot to say about this issue, obviously. So I thank you for coming in, but I'm not too cowardly to talk to you. Uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I now he's starting out with a big fat lie. And you're going to see it in this debate where he's totally and completely siding with the Israelis. And he ignores their debauchery. He doesn't charge them for it. But then again, he brings up the invasion. That flag that's not flying. Uh, I don't have a horse in this race. Uh, I think I've tried to straddle a divide of being fair-minded with all sides. I've had all voices on the show. I commend you for that, actually, right. uh, to be honest, for bringing me on. But I do realize I did caveat that with unfair grounds. So let's mm. hope that this interview is conducted. I intend like... to be completely fair. Yeah, sure. Well, I, I promise you, because all I want to get to here is a real sense of what is going to happen. He wants to get a sense of what's going to happen to the Israelis. Let me ask you this. Where were you when you heard about what happened on October the 7th? I was at home. What was your reaction when you heard? I, I was actually very sick and tired. And, and this is something I do want to put on the table because I think it's fair for people to know this. In our religion, we do not believe. Okay, As a Muslim, I am a Muslim. And I do not believe in the killing of any man, woman or children. Um, Non-combatants. That is not despite the religious teachings. That is because of the religious teachings. So in terms of condemning Hamas and just jumping straight into it, I condemn not only Hamas, but any other entity, okay, uh, wherein it's proven that this has been done. It's proven that this has been done. It's proven that this has been done, that the killing of combatants has been done. Therein, I condemn any party that does it. Any party that kills people or strikes at people, where it's more probable than not that it will hit a civilian target, I condemn them. And that's why I condemn the IDF, because when they strike, they know that it's more probably than not going to hit civilian targets. They know that the majority of civilians or the majority of people that are going to be affected are civilians. We know that from the various operations that have been conducted. We know that because now in Gaza you find that there is a, a blockade, as you know, for 17 years, but also there is, they're, they're stopping them from electricity, water, which is a war crime under Geneva 4 of the, uh, of the Geneva Convention. Which is a war crime. Which is a war crime. Which is a war crime on the Geneva Four of the uh, of the Geneva Convention. And that is why they are so desperate for people to believe them and to not believe the images that are right before their face. Yeah, they're going to be facing war crimes. Abracadabra. Mention to the ambassador. I did, also, mention, I did mention. You didn't say it's a war crime. Well, I think it's an arguable point with this war crime. I think it's an arguable point with this war crime. I think it's an arguable point with this war crime. Okay, I'm asking now. They, they are saying it's at the moment as well as Adam. Sure, they sure. are not breaching war crimes, right? It will be determined. Well, if we could, could, well, it will be determined whether that's the case. No, no, sorry, sorry. What that's, is it? That's incorrect. Mohammed, well, let, let me just make a point to you back on that. I think it, we, surely we can agree that what happened on October the seventh was a war crime. I mean, now he denies that what Netanyahu and the IDF. He denies that that's a war crime, but he's blatantly saying that Hamas is guilty, guilty, guilty. You see, you see how they're trying to sway people's mind. It's not working. This Muhammad Hajib is going to twist him all up in a knot. 
when people are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing, mm -hmm. yeah. kidnapping mm -hmm. young children, yeah. when they're when they're sh killing babies in their cribs, we can agree that's war crime, right? Okay, babies. Can we? Surely, of course, hundred percent. Okay, we're asking now. They, they are saying Israel, at the moment Israel is adamant. Sure, sure. They are not breaching war crimes, right? It will be determined. Well, well, if we could, could, well, it will be determined whether that's the case. No, no, sorry, sorry. Well, what that's is it? That's incorrect. Well, let, that's let me correct. just let me make a point to you back on that. I think it, we, surely we can agree that what happened on October the seventh was a war crime. I mean, when people are taking grandmothers yeah. and executing them, yeah. kidnapping young children, yeah. when they're when they're sh killing babies in their cribs, we can agree that's war crime, right? Okay, babies. Can we? Surely, of course, hundred percent. Right, but babies in the crib. Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? But babies in the crib. Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? And that's why that false flag is not flying. It's not flying. Yeah, they made all of these accusations, like the old mom, grandma, this sitting there with the gun and a smile on her face and holding up a peace sign. By, and she's being held hostage like that with some terrorists. Give me a damn break. And then they start mentioning the babies again. And come to find out that that was an AI image that they have of a child that was charred. Surely, of course, 100%. Right. But babies in the crib. Uh, sorry, what was the evidence for that? What was the evidence for that? What was the evidence for that? You don't believe that happened? Uh, the, the, sorry, CNN, mm. the White House... Mm. Uh, Sky News, which you work for, all say Sky I don't work for Sky News. Well, you, you're, you're, you're thinking... I did work at CNN. I saw, sure, one, sure. I saw one reporter who retracted it because she wasn't sure about the source. It's then unconfirmed. She wasn't sure about the source. It's then unconfirmed by the White House. She wasn't sure about the source. It's then unconfirmed by the, White House. by the White House. But then the Daily Telegraph and the Jerusalem Post and other sources then did publish pictures. CNN... Which indisputably showed babies have been killed. No, it showed one baby who's been, who's been charred, and that video, that picture has been put up on Twitter and has been refuted by uh, many people saying that it's actually AI. More no, no, more, that, that's completely untrue. That is, that no, is no, true. No. What's your source? Mohammed, 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 What's your source? It, there's been a thorough investigation into the Sorry. claim that was put up there by some rogue person on Twitter that it was AI. It has been completely disproven. Okay, let me that ask a picture question. which was published What's on your the source? Telegraph. What's your a, source? Is a genuine. What's your, picture, what is your source? Are you seriously arguing that yes, babies yes. weren't killed? No, I didn't say that. Well, what not, are you I, saying? I'm saying, give me a source. Yeah. You know full well you've been fired from the Daily Mirror for fake images. Mm. So you know full well about the... the I exam. didn't accept they were fake. Exactly. The UK government did. Yeah, they did. Uh-huh. So the no, UK... I told y'all. <laughs> and he's on Pierce Morgan's show, too. Oh, wait. And that would sound like he came off the Twilight Zone. Yeah, see how they're trying to push that narrative because they need the vote in the court of public opinion they need that energy and we went to the most high and he took it away who we okay so we're going to go on over to Netanyahu's speech when he declared war on Hamas yeah that was kind of strange to me he declared war when when they supposedly got invaded and so I want you to listen to this speech carefully because he's going for world domination and for all enemies of the 12 tribes of Hashatan. Executed children. They are savages, savages, savages. Now this in the beginning of his speech, the colonizers have done this since they start colonizing. They go into a country that they want, they want to possess, and they call the people savages. In our case, we're the N-word. In their case, they're Hamas, they're ISIS, they're Al-Qaeda, they're terrorists. And that's the same equivalent as a savage. Same trick. They do this to give themselves a sense of superiority. And also, they feel as they can give a feeling like whoever they're victimizing deserves it. 
Hamas is ISIS. Hamas will understand that by attacking us, they've made a mistake of historic proportion. We will exact a price that will be remembered by them and Israel's other enemies for decades to come. And Israel's other enemies. And Israel's other enemies. And Israel's other enemies. Before we listen to this part of his speech, now, the reason why they're in hot water is because they bombed a hospital of all places. They already bombed all of those apartments where innocent children, innocent people live in poverty in an open air prison. And he bombed them. He did that. He told people to leave out of the war zone to safe zones. He bombed them there. There was people trying to get to Egypt and people in Egypt trying to get um, to the victims to give them food and water. They start bombing around the borders of Egypt. And not only are innocent people, including babies, Trapped in a war zone, he cuts off the electricity, life-saving equipment, food um, preservation in the refrigerators. He cut off the water and the food. He won't let no food or water come in. He's a criminal. He's a wicked-ass motherfucker that's working for the devil. He's working for the devil, and he's very high-ranking. And we're going to take his wicked ass to the courts of the Most High, along with his ambassador, along with his advisor, and along with his defense minister. We're taking their asses to the courts of the Most High. This is a plot to take over the world, and it's already been prefaced by anti-Semitism. Do you get it? He said all of Israel's enemies. And so they already have the law in effect here in the United States. They already said they're going to combat it. He, Doug Imhoff went to the UN. I told y'all this is serious. He went to the European Union. He already prefaced this war all over to support anti-Semitism. So that means anybody, nobody can even say anything about them. Or you get treated. Like they are treating the people of the Gaza Strip. That's what they want to do all over this earth. The same technique that we experienced. They would beat us. They would lynch us. They would burn us. They would rape us. They would do all manner against us in front of each other uh, to, to instill fear because they rule with fear and cruelty. Yeah, that's what they're trying to show the world with what they're doing to Hamas while the world watch. For decades to come, the savage attacks that Hamas perpetrated against innocent Israelis are mind-boggling. Slaughtering families in their homes, massacring hundreds of young people at an outdoor festival, kidnapping scores of women, children, and elderly, even Holocaust survivors. Boy, these devils, they, can, they can't help it. They got to mention that damn Holocaust, which they probably did the same thing that they're doing right now. And I'm going to leave it at that, okay? Now, Benjamin Netanyahu, he is committing a Holocaust. Him and his advisor and his defense minister and his ambassador, all of them are are committing a holocaust now if who i think is listening in here let me explain something to you the united states government went to go and help save their asses from a quote-unquote holocaust now they're calling for the u.s government to help them with the holocaust what sense does that make this is good against evil this is good against evil, and we're going to go in, Star C. We're going to go in on this one. This is the big one. Hamas terrorists bound, burned, and executed children. They are savages. Hamas is ISIS. 
And just as the forces of civilizations united to defeat ISIS, the forces of civilization must support Israel in defeating Hamas. I want to thank President Biden for his unequivocal support. I want to thank leaders across the world who are standing with Israel today. I want to thank the people in Congress of the United States of America. Don't thank me, you demon spawn bastard. You have nothing to thank me for because I'm in the court of public opinion. And my opinion is that you are guilty, guilty, guilty. And now we're going to go to the courts of the Most High and we're going to bring you before our Father. Israel will win this war. And when Israel wins, the entire civilized world wins. Now that I agree with 100%, Israel will win the 12 tribes of Jacob, the real ones that have the DNA of our mother and our father and our big brother Messiah. Yes, Israel will win. Israel will win. True Israel true children of the most high God of Israel, you will lose because you're an imposter. You have cheated from the beginning, just like they cheated with that flag that won't fly. I'm telling you, anybody that ally with that devil right there, you are in for, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Now, Starseed, United, I believe our allies and friends too. We're going to be saved from this next judgment to come. We're going to be saved supernaturally. Yeah, but everybody that ally with this devil right there, everybody that's on the side of evil, period, you will perish. You will perish. You will lose. You will lose. Yes, you're going to lose today because our Father appointed us, just a few of us, that he actually will listen to. And he bows the heavens for us. And we are his children. His real children. The people of the book. The 12 tribes of Jacob. The Hebrew Israelites. The children of Abraham and Sarah. Who the Most High chose to bring forth his nation. And that's who you have been fucking over because we were under a curse and you took full advantage of it and you have taken everything. Now you want the world. You because we are no longer under the, the curse. I mean, after all, the proof is in the pudding. All of you that's been spying in and see what happens as a result. From us going to our father under the direction of our mother in these judgments that's hitting this earth. And I have told you why. It's all been planned by the Most High God of Israel. It's all in his plan and we're supposed to conquer you from this 3D dimension. He just chose a few to do this duty. And I'm happy to do this duty. I know who I am. And all I can say to Hashatan and all of his minions and everybody that ally and be friends with them, tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. Your time is almost out. Yep. Y'all better choose this day whom you gonna serve. All I can tell you is Netanyahu was right. True Israel will win in the end. It's all in the prophecies. Y'all know the prophecies? Y'all got people to specialize in the prophecies and in all those hidden scriptures. Y'all have people to specialize in it. And y'all can confirm everything I'm saying is the truth. There's no tricks in this. This is no hocus pocus. 
This is real. And all it took was a few people with clean hands. Not bloody hands like this one. Clean hands and a pure heart that won over the heart of our Father and won favor with our mother. That's all it took for us to know, for us to listen, for us to just be pure enough for our mother to talk to us and we hear her clearly. That's all it took. Yeah. And we are changing the course of things, Star Seed United, with our energy, the Most High appointed us as being judges in this time of judgment. And I don't know who I am. I say that I don't know who I am totally, but whoever I was before I came into this dimension, I must have been somebody to be appointed to be a judge. And I'm very proud of that. I had to really, really earn it. And so did you. Be proud of who you are. Take hold of your position. This is the big one. This is the big one, Star Seed United. We have already destroyed Hashitan's magical illusions of lies and tricks and all of that hocus pocus. The Most High honored us and he destroyed the illusion. Mother told us how to destroy the illusion. We did it, and it happened. We said that we wanted our identity back and all of the blessings that go along with it and to snatch it out of their hands. And the most I did it. The court of public opinion globally is against them. The Most High snatched our blessings away. He no longer has the energy he needs to win this war. And no telling what they're going to come up against when they, if they even try to. I've shown you many, many uh, of our allies, including the Atlanteans. So you too, I'm going to curse you. You're going to be... Everything that's going to go through YouTube is going to go in the 12 tribes of Jacob's favor. Take down this video if you want to. That's going to be the results of that. The Most High God of Israel has technical angels that will give you a virus you can't get rid of. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. If you're spying in on this message, I would pass this message along because this is the end game right here. I could feel it in my bones. You see, it's something about what's going on over here that's very magical. It's pure magic. As soon as the words are coming out of my mouth, my father has already bent the heavens and heard me. It's already gone into the ethers. I have told you truth after truth after truth. I exposed the scientists' lies. I have told you one truth after the next. I've told you things that were going to happen. You've seen it all. And if you don't pass this message, you and everyone that you love, you know, you, can, you, you have a chance to save your territories. You have time to save your people. And time is running out. This great reset is going to take place, and there's nobody on this earth that could stop it. Our Father has already ordered it from his heavenly throne. 
he marked this earth for judgment with his left hand. By the way, is very melanated, his palm. And our Messiah is very black. That's obvious. So all of you out there that uh, don't want to accept this truth, that's fine with me. You don't want to resonate it? Hey, get on, gizzard. <laughs> yes, I'm just supposed to tell what's going to happen right now. And I'm saying that it's not much more time left for you to do something because what's coming is unstoppable and you're going to need all of the mercy that the Most High will give you during those times to help save you from the judgments to guide you through the judgments otherwise you don't have a chance and that's what I have to say about that. I always have to preach that Jonah message because I know people are spying in. And that's why my channel is so small. Yeah. I know y'all don't want this message to get out. You you don't want to. You don't want to. You've been spying on me because Jonathan Greenblatt brought, brought all that attention with the anti-Semitism thing. Now you know why. It wasn't just. It, this was the whole world. The whole world. Anybody. Any of you racists out there say anything about them? They already got it in place with what's going on in Israel. They want to make us all slaves. And I hope y'all know they headed the Atlantic slave trade. They stole our land, our resources, still stealing it. We just now uh, successfully fighting them back with other freedom fighters. Other freedom fighters allied with us and people that wanted to deal with us fairly. And we're just getting that blessing back <clears throat> magically from the fist of Uriel. And if you've been watching, you know what I'm talking about. And Uriel's very black. That's telling you something. That why Jesus thing was to trick you into believing that those that say they are Jews and are not, but do lie, that was to make that believable. So they gave you white Jesus and you believed it. Yeah, you can keep on believing it if you want to. You know, for your good, I would be doing some changes right now. I really would because the time is almost out. And that's your urgent message. Okay, Star Seed United. We're about to go into the courts of the Most High. And we're going to deal with this. This is very important. So focus in. Focus your energy in. You already have that purified energy. Yeah, and you know the Father is listening to me. And listening to you as you speaking. While this video's going, after the video's going, because I have a throne and you have a throne of judgment. Yeah, you don't have to wait for these videos. If you see something going on on this earth, you take your throne and you go to your father. And you visualize his left hand of judgment and our Messiah with a fire nato and blast coming out of his mouth. Before we talk to our father, I just want to give our mother, Mariahava, the most beautiful one, some honor and respect. She led her children on this particular message. She's speaking to her children worldwide. And she led us on this mission. She led me to this most holy place. She told me it was the courts of the Most High. She told me that we, her children, needed to fight. And we needed to fight in a very different way. In a ma magical way. We go to this Most Holy Place and the Most High opened the gates to us. He bowed the heavens and he hears us. 
We have so many testimonies on record of our victories. And we're going to have one today. For some reason, it's like the Most High has everything planned out. I showed you guys so many manifestations. This is a manifestation. The Most High had this thing all planned out from the very, very beginning. And we were a great part of that. As his children, those with a pure heart and hands, clean hands. And he's accepted us. And our part in it is to do exactly what we are doing right now. He's appointed us to be judges. And we're going to judge this matter today. With the enemies of our souls. Wanting to put the whole globe under their feet. In their one world order. Yeah, we're going to deal with that. But I just wanted to tell you guys that all of us, every last one of us has a part to play. The Most High had planned it all out and all of it has to be done before this reset. And we're doing our part. We're doing our part. It seems like it's very small, but it's so huge. It's more than that. We're getting responses from the Father himself. The Mother herself is talking to us and guiding us through. This is, this is unimaginable. Some of the things I, I showed you were unimaginable. This has been such a magical journey, and it has been my pleasure and such an honor to serve in the kingdom of love and light. Hallelujah. Star Seed United, it seems like all we had to do, it was so simple. All we had to do was listen and know. Listen and know. And that was the key. That was our key. There's other keys out there, but like I said, all of our keys are important. We're all in the Most High's plan. We will save the world. Go Going to the holy courts, talking to our mother and our father there, we will save the world. Father, once again, we thank you so much. We love you so much, Father. But what you are doing, what you're doing in us, I love you, Father. And it's been such an honor to be invited to your holy courts. Where you marked this earth for judgment and kept it as top secret. Hallelujah, Father. We thank you for opening your gates to us. And dear Mother, Dear Mother, we thank you for your guidance to this most holy place and for all of your wisdom and your instruction. Today, Father, we're bringing Netanyahu, his defense minister, his ambassador, and his advisor to your holy courts. We're also bringing Doug Imhoff, Jonathan Greenblatt, Kamala Harris, Joe Biden, and everyone else involved in this scheme for world dominance, Father. Mother, you told us that we were in a great war when all of this anti-Semitism rhetoric started because we started claiming our heritage. Father, we are your children and that is our testimony in your holy courts. 
And our testimony is that there are people that are imposters. You know all about it, Father. And we thank you for snatching our blessing away. Where the world would bless them thinking that they were us. And we not even knowing who we were. And they just stole our blessing, erased our memories. Father, we thank you. Thank you for taking all of that energy away from Hashatan so he could not accomplish his goal. So that he will lose. He will lose. Abracadabra. Father, I ask you to have faith. Faith, the God of all knowledge that has history on everybody that ever lived on this planet. And I ask him to search the records and stand as witness before the world. Show them all who these people really are. The imposters, the cheats, the schemers, the narcissists, the greedy, the wicked that has been playing these games. Every time they go somewhere, they see the land they wanted. They call people savages, Father, and look at them. They call people terrorists, Father, but look at them. We ask you to search them out, Father. And we want you to bring criminal charges against them for war crimes on this earth. And also in the heavenlies, Father. We find him guilty. I find him guilty. I find all of them that are allying with him guilty. All of them in their crafty councils planning this whole domination of one world order where they label people ISIS, Hamas, and then they put a label on people that are fighting for freedom and while they get away with their shenanigans, Father. Father, the United States of America. Our government over here in the United States went and rescued them from a holocaust, so-called holocaust. Father Thoth knows the truth about that. I ask him to expose everything about that holocaust. If it has any similarities to what's going on right here with the flag, that fake invisible flag that won't fly. I ask all of that to be exposed. Father, I ask you to expose all of the fake actors that try to change the court of public opinion and try to steal our blessings back again. Yeah, search them out, Father. And all of the fake evidence that they have put out and pushed upon the world to believe a lie. I ask you to turn the light on that too, Father. I ask you to make all of them run back to the caves where they came from. Just like you did with the giants, Father. We know they still in the caves. Some of them survived. We ask that you send them right back to the caves and give up the land to everybody that they've stolen from. Find them guilty, Father. In your most magical way, we ask you to bring judgment upon them and justice. Judgment and justice, Father. Your judgment. Your judgment is totally 100%, Father. Totally 100%. You know all things. And we ask you to judge them accordingly. Abracadabra, Father. Abracadabra, thank you for this magic. Thank you for bowing the heavens and hearing us and giving us this special place to talk to you. 
Thank you for all of the responses that you have given us. Thank you for letting us be a part of destroying Hashitan's magic, his magical illusions, the energy, the words. Thank you, Father. I hope we made you proud. And Mother, I hope we made you proud as well. And we ask the all, the all, Father, the glorious kingdom of love and light that you reign over to give us all 12 tribes of Israel, your children, the final victory. Revelation 3, 9. Behold, I will make them of the synagogue of Satan, which say they are Jews and are not, but do lie. Behold, I will make them to come and worship before thy feet and to know that I have loved thee. And Father, we're asking you to move us into that position. We ask you to activate this promise, Father, and make them bow down at our feet and worship. And that the whole world will know that you love us, your children. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thanks again, Father, for hearing us. And thank you for this final victory. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Okay, Starseed United, that is what I have for you. We don't have much time left. We're going to be out of here very shortly. Yeah. No man knows the day or hour, but we know the season that we're in. Yeah. It's going to be all good for us, our allies, and our friends. Abracadabra, we, we own the victory. The Father promised it to us. All praises to the Most High. Okay, you guys, if you resonate with this message and you're new to my station, hit that subscribe button and join your energy with ours to do battle. We don't only talk about what's happening in the world. Mother revealed different things to us about what's happening, just like in this video. Yeah, and we, go, we come to fight. In this most holy place. Yeah. Thank you all for all of your support. Of this station. I love you. I hope you glean some wonderful energy and power. In this message. And all of you judges out there. Take your throne. Take your position. Hallelujah. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Thank you for your support of this station. Yes, all of your comments and hitting that like button and for your gifts of love. Thank you so very much and may the Most High bless you 100-fold for whatever your hearts desire. Abracadabra. Until the next magical show, your big sister, the Hebrew Rose of Jericho, out. Shalom.